And these are sessions from uh, Joe Jackson, who is with the Daylight Finance, and he says 2022 will be one of the toughest years for entrepreneurs. Whether we like it or not, mm -hmm. really, 2022 is when we're going to start feeling the full effects of the hangover of the excesses of 2020. The election, COVID, the financial sector cleanup, etc. Analyzing business trends in 2022, investment analyst with Dalex Finance, Joe Jackson, noted that the rise in inflation rates globally will certainly affect businesses in Ghana and increase cost of living. He says Ghana should expect more labor unrest. It's, it's building up and it's going to get a lot worse as we go along because um, the sad thing of a binge is that it increases inflation. So... The effect of all we did in 2020 means that inflation went from single digits, started rising again. And so it's eating away people's incomes. The binge did not create jobs. They're going to feel a lot of pain. He added the introduction of the e-levy will have dire effect on fintech and erode the progress made in the sector so far. We have to accept that the e-levy is going to put some amount of brakes on that. Because remember that... If you have a fintech business model, right, the e-level is going to hit you hard. So that is going to put a, a break on fintech operations, right? And the growth in Momo aggregators, the growth in um, what I call the Instagram SME market, the growth in deliveries. He admonished businesses to adhere to COVID protocols in order to build consumer confidence.